Hey, this is Eric over at Techno RV, and in this video, I want to help you choose the right tire pressure monitoring system for your RV. Now, Techno RV sells three different tire pressure monitoring systems. We sell the Tire Minder App Kit. We sell the TST tire pressure monitoring system, system the 507. And then we also sell the Tire Minder I-10 kit. Now I did want to go ahead and point out that this is just a quick overview of all three, but that we do have detailed videos about each one of these kits on our YouTube channel, so you can always go and get more information specifically about a particular system that you might uh, be interested in. As you may know, I've been full-time RVing in a motorhome, towing a Jeep behind my motorhome since 2015. So I do have my own personal preference. However, my personal preference may not be your personal preference. So I want to go through these and let you know my thoughts on them. And then hopefully you'll have enough information to make a determination on which one of these systems is right for you. So what I want to do is I want to start with the Tire Minder app system. So this is a unique kit because it operates off of an app on your smartphone. So it'll work with uh, Android or Apple. And with this kit, you're going to have a Bluetooth adapter. So while you don't have a dedicated monitor with this system, uh, you will have a Bluetooth adapter that does need to go somewhere uh, near where your cell phone is going to be or your smartphone where the actual tire minder app is going to be So for me if I were to use this system in my motor home uh, I would probably get a, a some sticky putty or a piece of velcro and maybe just stick it on the front of my dash so while you are Losing that monitor that maybe sits on your dash you you are gaining a uh, Bluetooth adapter that'll sit there, but it's nice and slim it stays out of the way nicely and uh Shouldn't be a problem if you want an app version. Now, of course, you're going to need your own smartphone, and that does not come with the kit, of course. But uh, again, Apple or Android, you will need for this. The Tire Minder kit comes with these little cap sensors. So, uh, very small, lightweight. This is what's going to screw onto your valve stem and is going to broadcast forward to your app on your smartphone the pressure and temperature of each tire position. So the app version can monitor up to 22 tires. Again, it is doing pressure and temperature. And it also comes with a signal repeater that you're going to make sure that you connect if you get this system because this is going to create a boosted zone around your RV to make sure you've got great signal strength from those sensors forward to uh, your app on your, your phone there. So uh, a lot going on with this system. So one question you can ask yourself when you're making a decision on which one's right for you is, do I want my system to be on a app on my phone? If the answer to that is yes, the decision's already made for you. You're going to get this tire minder kit right here um, because it would be the best system on the market that has a app. So moving on to the TST system here, uh, now I will let you know that uh, this is the system that I have uh, chosen and tested. I've had this system in 49 states in all different kinds of weather conditions. It's, uh, it's never failed me and I really do like this system. Uh, it does not come with an app, uh, so it does have a dedicated monitor that you get. It's a color monitor and it displays your pressure and your temperature all on the same screen. And so I really like that because at a quick glance, I like having a dedicated monitor. Some people don't. They want that app. I like the dedicated monitor. So at a quick glance while I'm driving down the road, I can just peek at this dedicated monitor and get the information off of it. Another thing about the TST system is that you get multiple sensor choices and that is not something that you get with the, the tire minder uh, system. So you do get the classic cap sensor 
from TST, right? So that's nice, low profile. So this is good for tow vehicles, small travel trailers. Um, it'll go on uh, rubber valve stems or metal valve stems. So whatever you need, that's the cap sensor version for the TST. In addition, TST offers what's called a flow-through sensor. Now what this does is whenever you put this on your valve stem, it's going to allow you to air up your tires through the sensor, right, without taking the sensor off the valve stem. So again, with the cap, if that's on your valve stem, you want to put air in your tire, you need to unscrew this, put air in, then screw this back on. With the flow-through uh, sensor, you just leave it on there and air it up through the sensor. So uh, very unique there. You do need to put these on metal valve stems. They are not appropriate for rubber valve stems. So keep that in mind. In addition, you can mix and match these. For example, I put these on my motorhome and then I put the cap sensor on my Jeep. So you can mix and match them. So that is uh, a positive there. In addition, uh, you can get what's called a hybrid sensor and this is basically a uh, marine type sensor. So I do have a boat with a boat trailer and I put these on my uh, boat trailer because these can actually be submerged in water. While all these sensors that you see up there are perfectly fine to be in any weather condition, they're not designed to be submerged. The marine sensor can actually be submerged. So uh, if you have an RV, maybe later down the road you bought a, a little boat that had a trailer, you could always just add these to the system. Uh, in addition, and I don't have one sitting out here, but TST does offer a internal sensor that basically bands to the inside of of the uh, the tire around the wheel. So it it's not it doesn't go on the valve stem. It's basically banded, so the tire would need to be broken down. A tire professional would need to install that, and then all that would broadcast forward to uh, the monitor here. The TST monitor can handle up to 38 tires on a single screen, and then it can also monitor up to four trailers for a total of up to 112 sensors. And you can customize parameters. Uh, so, for example, on the tire minder systems, you enter what your cold tire pressure should be, and it automatically set, sets parameters in which you will be alarmed at 15% below and 20% above whatever that cold tire pressure is set at. Uh, on the TST system, it's a little more customizable. You can actually go in and set your highs and lows and change your temperatures up on what you want to be alarmed on the temperature side of things. So for me personally, I like the idea that it's a little bit more um, customizable. And then uh, you do get a signal repeater with this as well. With the tire pressure, the TST, you do get two mounting options. You get a dash pad here. And then you also get a suction cup mount that you can put on a uh, window. So uh, the TST has just got a lot of options. So uh, as it stands right now, uh, if you want an app, you're going with the, the tire minder. And the, the TST, which is the system that I use, is just like... If you want just like all in everything that you can get in a the system, then uh, you're going to go with the TST. The uh, TireMinder i10 is what I would consider like an economical type uh, system. So uh, basically what you're getting here is a system that is definitely going to uh, monitor your pressure and temperature just like the rest of these systems. And But there are some manual processes uh, within the i10 that are more automatic on the TST and even the TireMinder uh, app. So on the TireMinder i10, you do get a color monitor. And whenever you enter in the sensors onto the monitor, it's going to show you a grouping of sensors, say all the sensors on your motorhome or your fifth wheel or whatever it is. And then it's going to show you on one screen, say, your pressures. But if you want to see the temperatures of those tires, you do need to manually reach up and click a button. Let's say you've got a motor home and you're towing a whatever, just any tow vehicle. This system only shows uh, one vehicle at a time. So it would show your, say, your motor home on one screen. If you want to see your tow vehicle, you would have to manually press a button to move uh, back to that. So there are just a few manual things that you need to do with the i10 over, say, a more automatic uh, system 
in the, the TST and even the Tire Minder app. Now the I-10 comes with the same sensors as the app version does, so you get these little button cap sensors that are uh, really, really lightweight, and again, these sensors have been around a long time and are a, a proven very good sensor for, for Tire Minder. And then you do get the signal repeater uh, as well with the, the I-10 system and then uh, and then your your power supply so I'm gonna just summarize real quick because at, at the end of the day this is about tire safety uh, most blowouts are preceded by low pressure and high temperature and any one of these systems will alarm you if you start to get low pressure when you get low pressure your temperature is going to go up on your tires if a tire gets to around 200 degrees or north of 200 degrees then the compounds in the tire will start to break down. That's when you have a blowout. So that's why no matter what you get, these systems are going to alarm you in most cases before that blowout happens and eliminate that dangerous situation or certainly uh, at minimum ruin your, your day of RVing. So summarize, if you want an app, because I've talked to plenty of people at RV shows and they just walk up and they're like, hey, do you have something that's an app? And if you try and show them anything else, they're like, I don't want to hear about it. I, I want an app. That's fine. Uh, the tire minder is going to 100% satisfy uh, the need for an app, and it is a great system. Uh, if you want what I use, the one that's kind of got all the, I would say all the bells and whistles. It's more automatic. You get more uh, options with your sensors. And then the, the TST is going to be the system for you. And then if you're looking for something economical, this could be a lot of different situations why uh, you might choose this. Maybe you bought a, a, a travel trailer and you're just not wanting to spend a lot of money on a tire pressure monitoring system and you're like, hey, as long as it alarms me, I'm fine, then uh, the Tire Minder I-10 is also a great system. So that's it. I hope that has answered all of your questions about these three systems. And uh, no matter which system you get, I certainly want to encourage you as a full-time RVer, most certainly monitor your tires with a tire pressure monitoring system. You can get all this and all this information, more information on this over at technorv.com.